into one of the uh, famous locality areas uh, for Panatology in the park. Okay. See, so a lot of times, a lot of times when we find the bones, this is what you'll find, is an accumulation that's rolled down the hill. And this is what happens to the bones when they sit on the surface for a long period of time. They basically break apart into smaller and smaller fragments, and at a point in time, it becomes impossible to put them back together. So all these bones out of out of a hill have basically come from, from these bones here. So what we do is we dig in and we see if we can uncover them. These little tools like dental picks and things like that and brushes and we slowly expose the bone. And it's kind of hard to see at first but once we get it cleaned off you'll be able to see it a lot better. Yeah everything you're seeing here that's dark colored is bone and the gray is the rock that's surrounding it. So what we would do next is we'd come here and we'd excavate around this and uh, we'd kind of leave this suspended on a pedestal and then we'd cover the bone and the surrounding rock and the pedestal with plaster. Uh, generally we take strips of burlap and plaster and we'd cover it uh, with a little separator in between, usually toilet paper or tissue paper, to keep the plaster from sticking to the actual bones. And then after we had it all pedestaled and a plaster cap on top, we'd undercut it, flip it over, put plaster on the other side, and then that's a um, basically a handy carrying case to bring it back to the lab. And then once we had it in the lab, we'd open it up and remove all the rock, uh, glue together all these broken cracks and stuff and uh, pretty much you'd end up with the whole element just like you see in the museum.